Last player we want to talk about this week for the Wooden Award player profiles is Texas A&M guard Wade Taylor the fourth. Yep, the six foot, one hundred and seventy five pound seniors from Dallas, Texas. He's averaging nineteen point five points per game. That is second in the SEC. Three point six boards, three point eight assists, two point two steals. That's tied for third in the SEC. He's knocking down 2.5 three per, threes per game. That's fourth in the SEC. Max, you ain't going to like this, his shooting percentages. He's shooting 36% from the floor, 83% from the line, okay, 29% from deep. Oh, jeez. His numbers from a per game perspective, they're up. They're up from last year, oh. and they're up from the freshman year, but I think he, de- he needs to do even more with the fact that the Texas A&M Aggies, they're 12-7. and seven. They're 12 and seven, three and three in the SEC. Sounds like he's not taking efficient shots. Okay. Shooting yeah. 36% from the floor. But we know Wade Taylor, this guy can fill it up. He had 41 at Arkansas. He had 35 versus FAU. Oh he had my. 34 versus Houston. And he had 31 versus Kentucky. That's all this season. That's legit. 41, 35, 34, 31. But guess what? Only he only won one of those four games. That was against <laughs> Kentucky. Okay, one and three in those games. Oh my. Okay. That's frustrating. Max, this guy was a preseason all American for you. Yeah. If you had to do it over, would you would you have him still? Man, with with uh <laughs> with those scoring numbers, absolutely. But with those losses, no. No, it just goes to show you that it seems like they're playing a little too much one-on-one ball. They're, they're not, it's not team ball right now. I think it's just, it's just Wade Taylor. I think that's what's going on. I think that's the problem. Uh, this Aggies team, I thought that they could be a potential final four run. I, yeah. I said that in the beginning of the season. Uh, you're uh, right. I, I said that like just a, as a dark horse type of scenario, right. as because you know, there's always a dark horse in the right. final four. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's right now I, I definitely regret that pick because uh, looking at 12 and seven, I'm not, I'm not too impressed with that. Yeah, I uh, Texas A and M. They got some work to do. You know, they they brought back almost everybody from yeah. last season uh, uh, after a really good season. So disappointing year for uh, the uh, is it Buzz Williams? Buzz, buzz, buzz. buzz. <laughs> a lot of buzz about Buzz. I remember saying that last year, and I think it was too much buzz because they they were they were queefing, they were queefing at that. Yeah.